if two objects of masses 2.5 kg let me consider m1 as 2.5 kg and another mass 100 kg m2 100 kg they experience a force 5 newton what is the acceleration experienced by each of them that is a1 and a2 from this you will be able to understand one important concept based on this problem uh, let us proceed according to newton's second law so concept newton's second law Newton cycle is F is equal to m a. F is equal to force m into m m is equal to what? Mass a is equal to acceleration. So we are going to use this tool. Solution. Let us make use of this, but we can apply for each. So let me say F one is equal to m a m one a one. F two is equal to m two. A2. These are the two forces. Of course, the force remains constant. So F1 is equal to F2. It means F is equal to m1 a1. F2 is equal to that is F is equal to m2 a2. Okay. So in this case, what is uh, a1? A1 is equal to F by m1. After all, a1 is asked here. So, in this case, that is a2 is equal to f by m2. Now, let us substitute what is f phi newton divided by. In the first case, it is 2.5 kg. Phi newton. In the second case, it is 100 kg. Therefore, what is the answer here? Phi by 2.5 means 2. Okay, and uh, how to get the unit for this one let us work out for example we know the unit here f is equal to ma and a is equal to f by m you know already the unit of acceleration is meter per second squared but even then we can confirm 1 newton is equal to how much anyone kg meter per second squared this is the 1 newton is it not So a is equal to one newton means that is a kg meter per second square divided by meter. Is it not? Uh, not meter. Mass. Is it not? So mass means kg. So kg kg can be cancelled. So uh, a is equal to m s power minus two, which is nothing but this one. So the unit is two meter per second square. So this is the answer. And what is a two? A two is equal to Uh, 5 by 100 means 0.05 meter per second square now listen to me clearly here for the weight of that is the 5 kg acceleration is 2 whereas for 100 kg it is much less are you able to understand this point so it means what you have understood now let us work out from this we are after all finding out the acceleration so here acceleration is equal to f by m okay now f is constant in both the cases so when i remove the constant it becomes proportionality so a is inversely proportional to m what you have understood that is when m decreases acceleration increases m increases means acceleration decreases are you able to understand this point therefore a is inversely proportional to m so from this we are able to understand because here it is 2 meter per second squared only for what for 2.5 kg but for the heavier mass 100 kg it is much less that is 0.05 the acceleration is less are you able to follow and thereby the gravitational force is remaining constant here do you understand this right 